Hello all, I'm Michael of Rise Sanctuary. Now, when I'm writing my books and stories, I think very cinematically. This means that when I'm writing the stories, I'm constantly envisioning what they would look like if somebody was to make them into a Netflix original or just a movie. As such, music and theme songs play a role in how I plan my novels. Today, let's go over why my books have theme songs and how they help me develop my story. Now, when I say theme songs, it's more that I'm envisioning how they would look like if they were a music video or a movie trailer. What scenes from the book would best engage the viewer as they're watching it? These scenes are then added to my book as part of its outline. Then I write to connect point A to point B. In fact, a lot of these scenes are so vivid that I am debating on uploading a live action version of them, mostly for marketing purposes. And yes, I'm seriously considering about uploading these to Creative Sanctuary's YouTube channel. I've always thought that I'd make a decent director, I guess in this sense I am. And I think it would be kind of fun to act out some of the things that I write about. Not forget, I'm kind of directing the way my characters behave and act within my book, so indirectly you are a director when you're writing. Now, of course, there's always these characters here and there that'll improv their lines, which is fine. In fact, a good chunk of Fury and Shadows of Atlantic City was all improv And yes, I'm talking about the book. So how do I go about choosing the right song for each storyline? Well, it depends on the story and the genre, really. For example, Disturb's version of Shout is the theme song that I use for writing Fury. It's more about a sad tale of a woman fighting her demons, so it kind of fits. I'll then play the song, normally as I take my walk breaks throughout the day. And during these walks, I think about the, what scenes would fit that song best, and then I come inside and put them in the outline. This often includes parts of fight scenes, chases, facial expressions between characters, action sequences, and more. And sometimes I'll have songs for specific scenes of the book. In Shadows of Atlantic City, Meredith Brooks' song Sin City is featured when I wrote the last chapter. Well, at least it's featured in my head anyway. You'd have to read it, but I can easily see that song playing in the last scene during the uh, last part of the book. I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, but it's... I don't know. I like it. It's probably one of the best endings I've written. No, well, I can't say that because Kingmaker was pretty damn awesome. Now, when I write a book cinematically, I'm trying to help the readers see what I see in my mind. It's one of the reasons why so many people like the dialogue that's in my books. If I act out the dialogue and it sounds cringy to me, it gets rewritten. And in reality, that's all a book is, really. A video for the mind's eye. Now, not everybody is going to see the same book in their mind, as we are all unique our brains fill in the blanks differently. But it helps me put together the details and the character development to write the best story I possibly can. The funny thing is that I can't play the music while writing those scenes. For the most part, I needed absolutely silent, relaxing sounds in the background, such as those that I do when I do the writing sprints every day. In fact, the only song that I was able to listen to virtual and repeat um, was Oh Death when I wrote a certain character scene in or scenes throughout Kingmaker. For some reason, that song just hit him so perfect, and it was just, yeah, I liked writing about that character. So there you have it. Pretty quick and easy, pretty simple. Um, I use music for a lot of the inspiration when I'm writing, and uh, I'll go through quite a few songs before I find the perfect one for each book or each scene, and some of them just seem to click better than others. And then when I'm walking around, I envision the scenes from the book and uh, kind of start planning out the movie trailer or music video or whatever you want to call it. In my head, it looks amazing. So what do you think? Should I start doing more acting on the other channel for scenes from a book? Of course, I never really acted seriously before. Uh, well, outside of an improv show back when I was much younger. If anything, it might be a good way to promote the book. Even though the costumes would probably cost quite a few bucks, the videos can be stupid fun to make. Anywho, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. For more videos about self-publishing, blogging, freelance writing, or anything else like ever, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I think it's going to do it for me today. I'm going to get back to editing Shadows of Atlantic City. I'll see you next time.